Welcome to Kung Fu Havoc number two. So, I'm going to talk to y'all about cell phones. So cell phone companies take note. First, I'm very angry at you. Alright? All of you. Without question, without remorse. This was initially my latest cell phone. I had to get another one. Because a certain phone company wouldn't honor the deal. So, and their warranty wouldn't honor the deal. They sold me a defective phone. Now, this phone is still good. I have an exact duplicate phone that needs to have a new battery, which is why we're having this topic of discussion. So, as you can see, it has the universal plug, the new universal plug, versus the old universal plug. Now, let me put this back in this case, because I'm going to save this phone just in case I have to go back to it after I make some phone calls tomorrow on my other phone. Now, all of these are Samsung, because I love Samsung. However, I'm a little mad at you, Samsung, and I'm going to let you know why. Alright, so, this Samsung got damaged somehow by having to go get a new battery, and this has the um, old plug. You know, the little itty-bitty tiny clusterfuck this has the older plug the little itty bitty clusterfuck I had a four phone there it is which I never would have had to get because it had this beautiful little bottom thing there now I'm gonna show y'all something it pissed me off all right, and it should piss off every cell phone customer in, in, in existence. That one you can't do it to. This one you can. And that one you can. And cell phone companies, you need to stop this shit. You need to go back to how this phone operates. See that? That's a battery. I should not have to pay over $200 for a phone. And then have to pay a battery store or a company to get and repair and fix me a new battery. I could have went to the store and done this myself. But no. Y'all want to run this little um, jamboree y'all got going on on us. So that we have to not only pay hundreds of dollars for cell phones. And I literally... Am, am angry at all cell phone companies. Not just Samsung, because Samsung is my favorite cell phone company. And even if they don't ever sponsor me or give me a job, I'm still going to buy them. But this shit right here needs to make a comeback where we can control our batteries. This phone has a battery release somewhere. I don't know how to get it off. But it does come off. It's not coming off today because of this video. If I didn't want to take this bitch off, it'd pop right off. So, here's the problem. Alright. These little things, you fix that. Now they're all like this big one. No, now they're all the same size. Okay? I do not have money like talking about it. Alright? And as a struggling actor, I will never have money like talking about it. And I've been a struggling actor for 21 years. But this was hands down the best phone I had. Because I didn't have to pay. Where's the damn release? I put this shit back in the case. No damn wonder why I couldn't get it. I didn't have to pay a frack ton of money to get a battery. And I could put the damn battery in myself. Where with this shit, I can take the battery and buy a new battery. Y'all didn't have to undo this. Y'all could have kept this going and only fixed the bottom. Where the bottom of this would now match the bottom of this. Now, because I couldn't get a new battery, and because the phone was obsolete, and they have no batteries... I had to give up this phone, and it was a good phone, okay? In that process, I had to go get its same style equivalent big brother, 
which might have been this phone. No, because I had this phone first, and it, it had the same issue. They, the battery was obsolete, and they didn't sell batteries. All right? So I couldn't buy that. So then, after buying this phone, battery's obsolete. So this phone, there's nothing absolutely positively, nothing wrong with it, other than the fact that I can't replace the battery, which forced me to get this phone, which had that um, second bottom, you know, the, the teeny tiny bottom. Yeah, not the universal, the new universal, like the one in yellow. And this one has the big bottom. Yeah, that didn't come out right at all, did it? But this one has the big cord bottom, all right? You look at it, it has the, the, the new standard. This one had the old standard. Again, the battery's obsolete. Now, let me, let me define on why I have this phone. So the company that I bought the phone from, the store, sent me to the people with the warranty. The warranty people sent me back to the store. The store people sent me back to the warranty. And back and forth and back and forth and back and forth I went. Now this phone, it initially came from Best Buy. This phone also came from Best Buy. This phone came from the same store that this phone came from because it was the only option I had at the time and my other phone before this phone got fracked up. So I got this phone. Not knowing that the bottom was going to be all kinds of jacked up. But this phone had a battery that you could pop out and you could buy. But I couldn't pop it open. I had to go to the store to get them to pop it open. Then I buy the battery and they put the damn thing in. Just like this phone, I could go to the store, buy the battery, come home, charge the battery, and put the bitch in my phone. Alright? This is the best phone I ever had because I had control of the battery. But since you guys made the phone obsolete and the battery obsolete, I can no longer do that. And then y'all commenced to do the same thing with these phones. Now I want to know why. Oh, no, I know why. It's called, we're going to get as much money from you as possible. And my favorite cell phone company, Samsung, isn't the only one guilty of this shit. Now, because I am never going to be super wealthy, and I'm just barely making it, I want to ask you phone companies, why did you do this to us? Why did you decide, hey, let's make everybody who can barely afford a cell phone, especially the iPhone, because those damn things are like $1,000. I will never spend $1,000 on an iPhone. Used car? Maybe. Broke up house? Yeah, because I would like to have my own house. But I would never spend $1,000 on a pair of shoes, and I would never spend $1,000 on a cell phone. I don't have it like that. And faking it till I'm making it ain't knocking on Disney's door. Okay? I.e. those suits. So, I'm going to keep it real. Why don't you return to the system of making it so that we can buy our own batteries and install them? Because I have to pay three and $400 for this phone, and then I have to pay $150 for phone services when the defective battery happens to happen. And then if I can't get a battery ordered or made, then I have to buy a new phone. So, you're screwing us. One way or the other. And that's just not fair. Because remember, as much as we need you, you need us more. Because money is green no matter whose pocket it comes out of. You want your product to sell. You need us more than we need your product. Because we can always go to a different company and get a different brand of phone. Even though certain phones are going out of business, we can still go to different companies and get a different phone. And maybe, just maybe, we can go to companies that still make the batteries so that we can take them out. I would hate to give up my Samsung. I honestly truly to God, because it works with my TVs, it works with a watch when I choose to buy one, and now that's not in the cards because I'm poor and I'm broke, but, you know, it does that. So why in the hell can't y'all make it go back to how it was when we could just buy the, fat the battery and put it in the phone? Because I'm poor. I'm straight poor. And I can't afford a new cell phone every year. I'm not that guy. And even if I was that guy... I'm not that conceited that I need my cell phone that badly. I got a thousand followers on TikTok. I don't need a new phone. TikTok's not paying my bills. All right? I got 134 people here on this YouTube channel. YouTube's not paying my bills. I have over a thousand plus people on Facebook. Facebook's not paying my bills. I have just south of a thousand people on Instagram. Instagram is not paying my bills. I think I may have five people on Kick. Kick's definitely not paying my bills, if they still exist. I have maybe 150 people on my new MySpace account. 
MySpace is not paying my bills. You see where I'm going with this. You know, I technically don't need social media for anything other than to boost my acting career, which has been failing for 21 years. I also am a Generation Xer, and I can live with or without a cell phone. And it's getting to the point where I may be living without a cell phone versus with a cell phone because I can't afford the damn thing. And if my batteries are obsolete and you don't make them anymore for America, but you'll still sell them to a third world country, reused, refurbished, recycled, but you won't sell us the batteries. I love to go back to that phone with the battery, with the tiny little plug thing and be able to recharge my battery or buy a new battery, which is what I need, and my new phone. Now I have to call Fruit Fix to see if they can order me a battery or if they can fix the damn phone. Because their competition jacked my phone and then I had to get a new phone. And I don't want to go through that shit again. But that being said, you know, um, I need to know. Why are you doing this to us? You want us to buy phones. I got it. But not everyone in the world can pay for a new cell phone every year or every two years when y'all keep upgrading the phones. Like, oh, a new app came out. It only supports this phone. So now I can't use that because you don't have an app that's downgraded to the phone that I can afford. So I ask you, I beg you, I plead with you, please, return to the days where we could replace our phone batteries ourselves because you guys are expensive as hell and the phone service is, is just as expensive as buying a new phone. I don't have money for a new phone. I thank you very much. I'm Echo Frank Wolf. This is Comfrey Epic number two. Be seeing you.